Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you wish to get that beautiful bouquet but don't have the expensive fast lens to do the job? Fret not! In this video, I'll be showing you how to get a realistic bouquet with DxO Photo Lab 7 and local adjustments. No need to pay for a new lens. So let's get right into it. Let's work with this first example. As you can see here, the foreground and background are pretty much distinct. So we can just directly select the background. The best tool for that purpose is the Auto Mask tool, which is a brush with built-in edge detection. For this example, I'll select the background in two steps. First, I'll brush over the foreground. Notice that the mask is spilling over the edges. Not to worry, the edges are being detected but are just not being shown. A flaw of Photolab 7. Second, I'll right click on the layer and click on Invert Mask. There, the background is selected. Next, let's blur the background. For that, we're going to use the Blur tool. Believe it or not, the Blur tool is something I didn't even know existed because it was hard to notice and access in the old DxO Photolab 6. There, you had to click on a button which had no label to access the Blur control which also had no label. I'll bet a lot of DxO users don't even know about this feature. Thankfully, with Photolab 7's revamped local adjustments panel, I got to see the Blur tool. Why is this Blur tool good? It's hard to appreciate it by itself, but side by side with the competitor's own lens blur tool, you can see that DxOs is clearly superior in mimicking a real bokeh. The out of focus highlights enlarge, soften, and become rounder as the strength of the blur increases, just like in a real camera. Not so much for its competitor. Strange that DxO doesn't even talk about this feature. So here is the before and the after. Let's move on to the next image. For this image, we're going to be using a gradient tool. We use a gradient in order to simulate the gradual blurring of an image as it moves farther away into the background. Next, let's increase the blur. Finally, let's also add a foreground blur to really make the subject stand out. Here is the before and the after. So that's how you create realistic bokeh with local adjustments and the blur tool in DxO Photolab 7. Let me know what tools you use to create realistic bokeh. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.